Hey everybody, I've got some coffee here I was about to roast and I thought I'd do a simple way. Uh, my wife calls this the pretentious roast coffee. And I don't know if you saw it, but there are about four ounces of beans in a metal colander. This is an induction burner with a steel pot, but you can use any type of burner with any type of pot. And the colander uh, strainer that you use to kind of cool the beans off once they're roasted. Uh, one of the important things of this is to cool the beans off as soon as you can once you hit the desired roast level. So, yeah, let's get started. And you pour the beans into a pot. You turn the pot on about medium. And then you take a whisk and you just go to town. Kind of like the doctor in a vasectomy. You just go into town. Just go to town down there. Um, you got to whisk them around. Keep all the beans moving. And keep the heat, uh, not low, but like medium, medium low. Uh, may, yeah, about medium. And you just move the beans around. Uh, make sure you stir everything and just keep stirring. Oh, I learned a while ago, um, you know, some people say I like to drink coffee. And I say, well, every now and then I like to, you know, drink regular water, like in between my coffee, but it's rare. And um, I found out recently that that's because well, partly because they used to put coffee in my bottle when I was a baby. And uh, about six weeks old, I'd have coffee with cream and sugar. And yeah, I, I used to get that and then want to take a sleep, just go to sleep. Um, <laughs> my mom and her friend thought that was hilarious, you know, smoke cigarettes and give me coffee in the bottle. And that's okay. And when I got older, I found out that I could taste the difference between decaf and regular. So whenever we were at a Waffle House and I was at the ripe old age of four ordering regular coffee at 3 a.m. in the morning because we were traveling, the waitress would look at me and go, hey, you want decaf? And I'm like, no, no, I want the real stuff. And then they'd try to give me decaf and then I'd complain and they would finally give me the real stuff. Basically, if I saw that orange handle, I'd kind of retch a little inside. Um, there's definitely a distinct taste. Uh, back to the video here. This is what we call first crack. Uh, sounds like popcorn. And my audio got screwed up on my phone, so this this is more of a voiceover. But first crack, it looks all pretty and kind of brownish color. And from there, it's going to proceed very quickly to start smoking like crazy, and it'll go to second crack. Uh, I like to stop mine at the second crack because it's uh, it's kind of a full city roast and it's got like a nice nice blend of burn yeah not burn nice blend of roast versus origin so you can tell which where your coffee came from without telling that oh this is Starbucks over roasted nasty stuff that they charge too much for. Um, I hate ending with preposition. Is that okay? Anyway, once you get to the color you want, you dump it in the colander and you just shake it around a little bit and um, try to cool the beans off as quickly as possible. In this case, I made kind of a mess because my dogs were running outside, but that's okay. You know, you just shake them around and you get nice looking beans. Um, the color on these looks a little different, but in, in real life, they're actually a uniform shade of black and they're, they're delicious. But you just wait, uh, pour them in an airtight container and let them rest for about six or seven hours. And then you brew them up and um, that's about it, really. They, they taste better than anything you'll get in a grocery store and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Hey, everybody. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like and a thumbs up down below. Uh, maybe subscribe if you want. This is Caesar and his look whenever I make things with onions that he can't eat. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. Talk to you soon.